Chapter 2, Lesson 5, Part 2, Five Little Monkeys Creating Procedures and Calling Procedures Learning Target I can create or declare and call procedures for Five Little Monkeys animation. Create procedures, call procedures, write comments for each procedures. Let's recall our stepwise refinement from our step 2. We had a storyboard and we did a stepwise refinement in step 2. We created some procedures called as jump, fall, call mom and and we wrote instructions in it for actions to happen. Now let's take our step 2 design and work on step 3 implement design. Now we're going to create procedures jump, fall, call mom and end they're all biped procedures. Now if you're doing an extra challenge work, you can create two extra procedures, doctor arrive and final doctor call, and they're both biped challenge procedures. Once you're done creating all four procedures, jump, fall, call mom, and you will call those procedures in my first method. Now keep in mind, you may have to call these procedures many number of times because the story keeps repeating until all the monkeys fall down. Always do incremental development while writing procedures. Step 3 Implement Design Step 3 Implement Code We need to create biped procedures. The first thing we would do is go to the class menu and then select the biped tab and then click on add biped procedure and create procedures for jump, fall and call mom. You will write instructions for each procedure. Do not forget to add comments at the beginning of each procedure describing the action for each procedure. Also don't forget to add comments at the beginning of my first method and you will have student, lesson number and name and then your date. Step 4 test. When we test, we need to call our procedures in my first method in the correct sequence. Now keep in mind, you'll be calling these procedures many number of times. So instead of calling it all the time, we can just call it once for five monkeys, make the story for five monkeys, and then just copy and paste that over and over again. Step four, call procedures in my first method. Now here's an sample. When you finish program, my first method would look like. Now if you see, I'm giving a comment in here, five monkeys are jumping and since five monkeys are jumping and they're jumping three times, I'm calling jump, 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 jump and I'm putting that under count. Each monkey is jumping three times. Now after they're done jumping three times, the monkey will fall, the mom comes. Now keep one thing in mind, jumping falling mom comes this keeps repeating until all monkeys fall down so you'll see this is my five monkeys jump and then this is my four monkeys jump this is my three monkeys jump this is my two monkeys jump and the last one is one monkey jump so that means i'm doing the same thing over and over again so i can just copy and paste it and just remove one jump from here whichever monkey jumped off. Now here's my demo program for five little monkeys. I'm going to quickly show you how to copy and paste these instructions because all of this program is repeating the jump, repeating the fall, repeating the call mom. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go to my control structures in here and drag and drop to in order. And I'm going to put my count inside it for the jump and I'm going to put the fall procedure inside it and I'm going to put call mom procedure inside it. Now don't forget to add a comment that says five monkeys jumping so all of this action in do in order is for five monkeys jumping. Now we want to do the same thing for four monkeys jumping. So it doesn't make sense to do all of this again so the easiest way I'm going to do is copy and paste. In one of my previous lessons I showed you how to do a copy and paste. So I'm going to press control, click on my do in order and hold it and drag it down. So that makes a duplicate copy of it. Now the next and most important thing we need to do is look into the fall. Which monkey falls in our first scene? It says golden monkey four fall. So that means monkey number four is out of picture. 
so we want to take a look at monkey number four and we want to just delete that jump simple as that now the change that you want to do in here is since monkey four is out of the picture he is not jumping so you want to pick another monkey and make it fall down so select monkey one so just this is what the change that you need to do and most importantly you want to put a comment for every section so just before this do an order I'm going to put my comment in here for monkeys jumping so now do the same thing for three monkeys jumping I would drag the comment in here and I'm going to type in three monkeys jumping and then again I'm going to copy and paste this and just remove extra lines of code that's not needed so now the first step you want to do is click on my first method the second step you want to do is click on the monkey in the instance menu now there are five monkeys and all the five monkeys will know how to jump because you created the procedure so you have to click on that monkey and you will see the jump procedure and then you will drag the procedure into my first method in your editor area the last step you want to do is click on run test to see if your program works correctly and if it works correctly you are ready to turn it in for grades.